Welcome to another session. Today we are going to talk about the counters. Counters have great significance when you talk about the packing industry, like it is counting up different things over there. When you talk about cement plants, when you talk about portal manufacturing plants, and there are a lot of other examples where we use counters for counting up different things, and we make decisions based on that. Ladies and gentlemen, now it's the time to move on to a practical part of today's class. Here we have different counters options available in Cimatic Manager software to program S7300 PLC. You can see here we have a counter up, we have a counter up and down, we do have a counter down only. Different type of the counters based on your needs you can utilize in here. So we will just try to take on one counter, counter up from here. And now it's the tricky part where you have to clearly understand number of the counter you are gonna choose is really dependent on the CPU that you're gonna choose so every CPU have uh, sport actually different number of the counters so you have to actually be wise when you are actually looking for a CPU if you need more counters get a CPU that sports more counters Let's take now, uh, you can name it starting from C1 to 256, but it again depends on your CPU type, like how much counters you actually, your CPU supports. Let's uh, take an example here, like we are just taking uh, C1, the counter 1 here, and then it's not yet done. Let's take yourself to the industry, realize we have a one packing plant, of uh, you can say packing plant of cement industry where you, n number of the bags are coming on into the conveyor belt and you your boss says oh man look I need to count how many bags are coming through that conveyor so you have a given task to actually you've been given the task to actually program like you have to program you have to calculate the number of the bags passing through that conveyor so what you have to do Physically, you have to install one photo eye sensor that will detect when the when the bag will pass through it. It will give you indication. It will give you an output. So that photo eye sensor will be connected to input module of the PLC, and that guy input module is going to be connected to your CPU, and that by this way, you are actually connected to your photo eye sensor, and you can able you and that input. Let's suppose it is connected to I 0.0, the first channel. Uh, in 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 your input module. So let's take I0.0. That is photo eye sensor in that case. So we take in here, and now we are counting. And now we have to actually count it. Let's see whether we 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 will be able to count it or not. So uh, in order to do that, uh, simulator uh, should be stopped, and then we have to reset everything so that. Uh, all values actually you can say uh, one minute I have to reset clear and reset so that all values should be reset it and now it's the time to download that program and in order to do that this you have to click over here you know already that very well because now you are up to 14 lecture so um, you might understand that and now is the time to actually turn on that watches from here to see that so you just turn on the glasses from here and then it's the time to actually press so let's see like for example one bike passes through it that photo eye sensor uh, give you like uh, you can see that photo eye sensor will give you an output at that time and this output will come in there into input module and that input module is connected to your PLC and you have already taken that I0.0 .0 here so when I0.0 .0 will be high, it should count up. This value should be increment to 1. Let's see. Here we go. And you can see a uh, counter is running now. So when the second pass, uh, back passes through it, it will become 2 and so on and so on. It will move on. So uh, now uh, you have, uh, uh, if in the case you want to get an output of that particular counter or how you can use that uh, that or for that what you have to do you have to just uh, take 
Q0.0 over here. So now whenever your whenever your counter is counting up, the value of the count is greater than zero. This Q0.0 will be high. And then we have a PV. So let's force C10. We can give it C number sign and 10. This is how you can uh, define the PV over there. And then you just use I0.1 uh, here. So you and you can use I0.2 here. And let's uh, actually utilize everything so that you can easily understand what's going on. So uh, be ready. And uh, now we are going to download this program. And so we are done with downloading that and now it's the time to run it and once we will run it then we have to actually turn on from here also so ladies and gentlemen uh, this i0.0 .0 is I told you like whenever the counter value is more than one is zero currently whenever it's more than one the q0.0 .0 output will be high so let's do it it's one it's more than zero so Q0.0 .0 is high you can see here. So any number greater than 0, this Q0.0 .0 will be high. So when that counter is running, in that time you can get utilize that. So now, instead of uh, counting starting from uh, 0, you want to start uh, actually from some specified number like you can see here, 10. So what you can do for that? one minute I think some error over here so for that you have to actually utilize that set set instruction over here so instead of counting from one as uh, from zero it should start counting from ten so let's do it to visualize that what we will do we will pro download that program again so once we are done with that downloading then it's the time to actually run it and after running you have to turn on the glass sign from here in order to visualize on the screen you can see over here so now uh, as we talk instead of counting from 0 we if we want to count from 10 then what I will do I will just click I0.1 so this will start it will give value 10 you can see the value of 10 is moved here so now it will start counting from 10 so once we will have a next uh, input coming from the field from that photo I sensor it will actually not count from uh, 0 it will count from 10 and then there is another instruction you can see here that reset if in the case you want to reset your counter then you can use that instruction I0.0 .0. so value of 14 is currently here so if I will press I0.2 uh, I it will reset it to a 0 you can see here so that's the that's the counter instruction in the PLC programming. Uh, in next sessions, we will actually utilize how like how we can program current value of it. Like for example, if we want to make some decision, like after counting up 14 bags, you want to actually run up another conveyor based on the number of the values that you have counted, or number of the bags, or, or whatever you are. Uh, like for example, number of the bottles you can actually uh, utilize that uh, next session to learn that like number of for example if we have 10 bags packed already then another uh, like uh, conveyor should be running in there so that kind of uh, uh, scenarios will be discussed in next class stay connected with IT and Automation Academy's YouTube channel and show your love and support by clicking like button down there and don't forget to subscribe this channel because every week we are coming. We are coming for you guys. We, I am coming and making some video content for you. So come on guys. Come and support me here. And subscribe the YouTube channel of ID and Automation Academy so that more courage, more uh, you can say motivation will come in my side and I will definitely make more valuable content for you. Hope you liked today's video. A uh, lot to come in counter sites like it's just a simple introduction of the counter so stay connected to IT and Automation Academy channel for today I would say love you all Assalamu Alaikum